my my how this thing has grown on me. I was never really a fan of the egg shapes. Perhaps that's probably why I skipped the MCM4. But now after owning this thing for two weeks, yeah, this thing's a beauty. Hi, my name is Tushan Foy and welcome to the Gotway Tesla review. The Tesla model is Gotway's latest iteration of the electric unicycle, sporting a 16 inch wheel with a 1900 watt motor inside, built in handlebar aka trolley, and the traditional 9 baht ring lights. It's literally everything I can ask for in a wheel. Let's talk about the exterior for a second. If you notice, I'm actually knocking on hard plastic that lives on the top and on the bottom. This thing also sports a tiny little piece of cushion, which I think Gotway could have done a better job with. To any of you who own a Gotway, this should look very familiar. You press the power button and the light turns on. You press the power button again, the light flashes. Then you have your charge port. This one is a four pinner. And then you have your traditional USB port to charge your mobile devices. Um, as you can see, this setup lives in the front of the device. Um, whereas on the M Super V3, that stuff sort of lives on the top. Getting back to the exterior, uh, let's talk about the battery indicator. You'll be happy to know that it actually lives on the ring light. So as you're riding, you can actually look down and see how much battery life you had. I always thought it was annoying on the M Super V3 because you had to literally get off the wheel to go to the back where the brake light lives to see how much dots there are indicating how much battery life you have which was very annoying so it's good to see God we made that improvement um, this thing also sports my favorite pedals which is the ACM pedals I can't stand the M Super V3 pedals at all so I was relieved to see that this thing now has the ACM pedals which again is my absolute favorite uh, real quick I want to touch base on the headlight so while it's not the brightest and is basically useless at night it is a tad bit brighter than the than the previous models so it's good to see that Gotway is actually listening to their customers as far as height yeah the Gotway Tesla takes the cake uh, before it was the Motion V8 but yes the the Gotway Tesla is, as of right now, the tallest unicycle you will find. Let's talk about the internals for a second. Um, first, uh, the motherboard now lives on the top of the device, which is pretty cool. Um, second, um, the highest model you can get as far as battery size is 1020 watt hours. Um, last but not least, you'll be happy to know that there's now dual fans um, built inside of this thing. Um, I'm going to assume it's used to exhaust the heat um, to prevent overheating, um, especially when riding in the summertime, you know, for um, long hours of usage. Let's talk about performance for a second. Now, I felt like in order to appreciate what the Gotway Tesla has to offer, I had to ride my previous wheels. Um, and yeah, it took some time to get familiar starting with the 9 bot one E+, all the way up to the, the VA in motion, then the Gotway ACM, um, even riding the Gotway M10, and then finally getting back to the Tesla, and I just felt the progress um, of Gotway engineering. It's really impressive. Um, let me explain further. So now, can I do any of that stuff with the M Super V3? Of course I can, but it just felt so much easier on the Tesla, and I think it's all due to the weight. Now, keep in mind that the M Super V3 S Plus 1600 milliwatt battery, did I say that correctly? <laughs> Is exactly 50 pounds. Um, this thing only weighs 42 pounds. Not a huge difference, but let me explain further. You see, the M Super V3 S Plus was very top heavy. Like, if you just try to lean it against the wall, the top was so heavy, and I think that's due to where the battery lived inside, it would just fall over. But now, inside the Tesla, you'll see that the battery is well placed so that you don't feel that weight. Um, this thing actually sits on its bottom. It sits down firmly on the ground. 
and you can't even move it. Watch how I just slap this thing with a little bit of force and it doesn't go anywhere, it just sits. So you can definitely see that it doesn't need any type of foot anchor or anything to have it lay down. Guys, what's going on? <laughs> I know it's different, right? I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> Well, one of the good things about the group that I'm in is that uh, they give me a lot of shit about not wearing a helmet. And since I'm conducting a speed test, I think it's only right to start wearing one. So, yeah, this is the helmet that I'm wearing. Um, it's very nice. It's comfortable. Uh, I'll tell you guys more about it in another video. So stay tuned. Anyway, to do the speed test, I'm going to use my trusty Garmin Verb. Uh, this is the Ultra. Garmin Verb Ultra 4K. The reason why I use this camera because it has the GPS... Um, feature so it literally um, I guess connects to the GPS that's up in the sky one of them satellites so the speed test that I'm gonna get from this is pretty darn accurate right not using a cell phone so uh, yeah anyway let's do it So comfortably, I was able to get this thing up to 31 miles per hour. Um, pretty impressive. That's after hearing three beeps. I know for a fact that I could push it a little bit more to about 34 if I wanted. 32, 32, 34. Um, but safely, without worrying about cutoffs, I would say the max you should go up to is about 31 miles per hour. Um, now, again, it's weird because I feel like this thing is faster than the M Super V3S Plus, but in a smaller package, which is why I feel like this is very impressive. Um, again, I know a lot of people is going to watch this video, and so I don't want to push this wheel, you know, past its limits. So again, I got it up to 31 miles per hour after hearing three beeps. So I hear beep, 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 and then I got it up to 31 miles per hour. So if you push any further i feel like you're risking a cutoff so keep that in mind i would say keep this wheel between 25 to 30 miles per hour anything after 30 31 you're you're, you're asking for a cutoff so keep that in mind and as you can see i'm using my gps camera so this is as accurate as you're gonna get um while i do use cell phones sometimes for speed tests I kind of find that it, it, the accuracy isn't all that, it's not all there, so yeah. Final thoughts. Who exactly is this wheel for? Well, I want to say that this wheel is the upgrade to the MCM4. It's definitely an upgrade to the ACM. And in some ways it's actually a huge upgrade to the M Super V3 S Plus. Um, again, for anybody who want something as fast as the M Super V3, much more powerful, a little bit more redundant features as far as safety goes, and in a lighter package, you get the Gotway Tesla. I mean, that's it. If you want to look flashy, it has those, the ring lights on each side. Um, if you want to know your battery life, you just look down. Um, it's a bit quieter. It doesn't have that loud high pitch sound, you know, that's normal on a cutway. I mean, it's there, but it's faint. Um, you can definitely at times hear the fan, you know, the fans turn on. But other than that, this wheel is a huge improvement from any other cutway. Now, I commute to work 30 miles a day. I rode this thing for an entire week. And each day that I rode it, I had more than a half, more than half of battery left. 
a little bit over half so it's yes on paper it's correct you can get easily 40 to about 55 miles on a charge which is very impressive for a 1020 um, watt hour battery um, I'm starting to ride the M10 look out for a video regarding the M10 and I gotta tell you it's a powerful little machine like that thing fits in my book bag but that's for another video anyway I have to take some time out to give a shout out to Gotway America I mean these guys are awesome um, this review wouldn't even exist if they wasn't kind enough to send me this model way before the release date so Gotway America man you guys rock um, been dealing with these guys for a while and I have to tell you customer service is top notch there is no complaints whatsoever if you're looking to purchase a Gotway Tesla they already have it go to gotwayamerica.com guys thank you so much for watching this review I hope that this thing answered all your questions um if you have any more just leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them um, most importantly if you like what you see please like and subscribe again I took some time out to produce this video um yeah if you was entertained if you was helpful if it was informative please give this a thumbs up like and subscribe share with anybody who you think want to make a decision on electric unicycle or should just share it because you was entertained just you know share it um, until next time guys peace out